When you trigger a contact instrument with MIDI notes or from a MIDI controller, the volume can be varied with velocity. To do this, you use modulation. In today's video tutorial, we'll take a look at using modulation to control volume. And never miss a tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ADSR Toots. Contact has a variety of parameters that can be modulated in four categories of sources. If you go to the modules tab and go to the modulators sub tab, you can see these categories. So you have envelopes, LFOs, other, and external. And if you click on each of these mod modules, you can see a detailed description of each um, um, in the info tab. Modulation is a complicated top topic and we'll dive into depth in, in a later tutorial, but for today we'll be looking at one of the external sources. Um, let me shrink this up so you can see better. Okay, so we're going to look at, uh, we're going to be using velocity, which is um, external. And envelopes, we're going to use AHDSR. All right, so let's see how we can um, make modulation assignments. So, so I'm going to create a new instrument, going to enter edit mode. And any section where you see um, this tab mod is where you can, this is where the modulation um, that you have selected shows up. So these are all the places that you can use modulation. So you can even modulate a modulation. Okay, so the modulation assignments are displayed um, within a single row in the modulation router of the parameters parent module. So you, you show the modulation router by clicking on the mod um, button. So here, um, we're in the source module. Um, the only modulator that is available right now is pitch bend, and that's in the instrument by default. So to add a new assignment, you can use one of three ways. So the first is to right click on a parameter that you wanna modulate. Let's say we wanna modulate uh, tune, and then you choose a modulation source. The source, I mean, the, the submenu at the, at the bottom of this menu contains modulation sources, which you've already chosen. And this allows you to use an existing source to modulate more than one parameter. So existing is where you would see ones you're already using. So as you can see, um, volume is already being modulated. So if I wanted to use the same modulator for tune, I could just choose that or I can you know, choose a different one. So for instance, I can add uh, LFO, I can use sign, and now um, tune is being uh, modulated. Okay. Delete that. The second way that you can um, add an assignment is to use the modules tab. So this is the modules tab here. So we also have to switch to modulators, the mod modulator sub tab. And then what you do is you choose a, a modulation source type from one of the four lists. So once again, I'm going to choose LFO triangle. And then you drag it onto a knob whose parameter you'd like to modulate. So once again, I'm going to just choose tune. All right. Um, also, um, keep in mind that when you drag uh, the modulator onto a parameter, the icon will turn to a green plus sign um, for parameters that you can modulate. So here you see I can modulate a uh, volume. All right. And parameters that you cannot modulate um, the icon won't be there. So let me find something that I can't modulate. 
right? So as you can see, I don't I don't get the green plus icon. All right. Okay, so the third option that you can use um, is if you open up the modulation router and click the add modulator button on the left side of the last row. So let me go back to the top. So here I can use the add modulator button. So this opens up the same drop down menu of modulation sources that you get when you right click on a knob. And one other thing to keep in mind is since you can't specify the destination this way, you'll have to change the modulated parameter via the drop down menu on the right hand side of the new assignment entry. So just for instance, if I just say glide here, right? Um, because I, I didn't associate it with a parameter, I have to come in here and um, change it. And since I'm using DFD, that's the only thing I can adjust. But let me change this. So for, you know, I just change it to sampler. So I can adjust loop start, for instance. Um, all right. Okay, now let's look at a practical way that we can um, use modulation for something that is is um, something probably more of a real use scenario. Okay, I'm going to just whack this and make a new one. Okay, I'm going to go to instrument edit mode and I'm going to go to the amplifier module. Okay, so I'm going to click the mod. Um, the mod button so I can display the the modulation router okay I have a AHD um, SR there that's there by default velocity is there by default okay I'm gonna take them off I'm gonna start from scratch okay so the first thing that I'm gonna do in, in this specific scenario I want to modulate volume using velocity and a HD SR okay so the first thing that I'm going to do is right click on the volume knob and I'm going to choose um, envelopes AHDSR. Okay. So as you can see, a row got added to the modulation router and the destination has been set to volume. I'm going to do the same thing again, but this time I'm going to choose um, velocity. So the velocity is under external sources. Okay, so now I have AHDSR and velocity all modulating volume. Okay, so now with uh, when you add these parameters, when you add these modulators, the um, intensity is set to 100, which um, doesn't make anything useful that we need. So we need to adjust the settings and the intensity um, of both the AHDSR and velocity. So Let's uh, change the intensity um, for velocity down to about 40%. All right. Okay, and so for AHDSR, the intensity is fine. We want the um, AHDSR um, to fully control the, fully modulate the volume. So we'll leave that at 100%. Um, velocity we want it um, to not um, be as strong so about, 50, about a little less than 50 percent so when you hit a note um, the velocity that you use will 50 percent of its value will be used to uh, well actually the full value will be used but um, the strength of it will be about 40 percent of how much it dynamically adjusts the volume okay so for HDSR uh, we need to change some settings so that it sounds uh, more realistic when you um, play your MIDI controller. Okay, so you you can either scroll down manually or you can hit the the quick jump button. Okay, so I hit the quick jump button. Let me close these so these are out of the way. Okay, so I hit the quick jump button and now I'm down at AHDSR. Okay, so what I want to do is adjust attack to zero. I'm gonna adjust hold. It's already at zero, so that's fine. I'm gonna bring the K down a little bit until about there. 
Um, I'm going to bring sustain down to zero and make release around 300 or so. Now, I mean, these aren't, you know, hard and solid settings. These are just settings that I've tried that sound good with a MIDI controller. So depending on your MIDI controller or how you play or the instruments that you're playing, you might find that you might need to adjust your AHDSR a little bit differently so that your volume is um, is more realistic with your playing style. Okay, so now with these settings, um, when I trigger a note with my MIDI controller, the volume will vary with the velocity level sent by my controller. Okay, so if I tap a key um, lightly, the instrument's volume will be soft. If I tap a key hard, the instrument's volume will be louder. And also because we um, we we used um, velocity and AHDR as well, if you use a if you send MIDI from your from your your DAW, um, the volume will vary with the levels of velocity. Okay, and also because we added AHDSR as a modulation source and the sustain settings um, we set to zero. Um, this will cause the volume of the instrument to sustain at zero dB. So this will allow the the, the instrument the, the sample to get to full volume. Okay, the release setting is the time that it takes the envelope to fall from a sustain level back to zero after the key has been released. Okay, so that's what the um, the release setting is for. So just play around with with these settings as you trigger your notes to see how um, the settings affect how your instrument sounds. And um, if you, when you find um, settings that you like, definitely be sure to save it as a preset. Okay, so preset, save preset. So, so there are several modulation sources that you can use to control parameters. Um, we only touched on two today, but all the information still applies no matter what source you use. And don't forget to check out our website at www.contacttutorials.com. For more contact tutorials and sounds, ADSR contact tutorials, supercharger contact skills. This is DJ Nice signing off. Until next time, I'm going to make some music.